So for you, I would look more around the 175 to 200 mark. But I would rather you kind of underdo it than be thinking, oh yeah, I can be looking at a 230, 250 house, and then they come back and be like, okay, so you're pre-approved for 150,000, and you're like, uh, say what? And if you find a house for 230, you still can do a house for 230. You just put the difference down. Most likely next year is going to be the year for me. Most likely. So like next year is in like a few months, uh, or like at the end of next no, year. No, like a few months. Like so, not re-signing a lease. No, probably not. Honestly. Like, what about you? I would if I could, but just having the two year marks for everything because it may will be my year mark for front office receptionist. So you'll probably sign another lease. I would have to. So May of 2023. Two totally different girls. Trent and I know that, you know, with Elizabeth, it's full steam ahead and this is what's gonna happen and we just have to jump on the boat and ride with her. And then with Anna, it's kind of guiding, leading, helping, and we eventually get there. Elizabeth, I mean, if you really think in a few months, not, not mm -hmm. signing the lease and moving forward with mine, the best thing to do is get everything together, like February, March, send it to Sandy, fill out the application. She'll tell you, hey, I need this or I need that or whatever. And then you can get a pre-approval letter. And then at that point, you start looking at houses. I found my house like right on the edge of gray and like before you get into Monroe County. After me and Bryce had breakfast this morning, I took him there, I was like, you gotta see it. And I just wanted to see what he thought. Bryce and I, we've talked about the future. And so I was just kind of lightly hinting to her like, hey, cause I might be buying this house with, somebody else and you know. I mean, hey, they popped the baby out at 22. Pretty sure they got pregnant before they got married. I'm just kidding. No, they didn't. They probably did it before they got married, but I mean, who knows? Oh, duh. <laughs> I just wanted to see what he thought. He was like, yeah. So if you guys were to do this together, uh -huh. then that means that something else must happen. Yeah. When Elizabeth talks about the possibility of buying a house with Bryce, I'm not totally shocked. Her and Bryce have been together for quite some time, but when it comes to moving in together and eventually marriage, Trent and I were raised that, you know, you get married before you move in together. Don't go buy a house together. That's a lot of work to have to undo if things don't work out. I mean, he's headed towards it, so I mean, I'm figuring. But I told him, I'm like, when this lease is up, I mean, if this house is still on the market, I, I'm going for it.